Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Today is Monday. It's September 18th. <clears throat> I know in the video that you guys saw on Monday, I kind of ended it abruptly, and I never came back to post. Well, I did film a segment, but when I edited it, it was so screwed up that I needed to totally just not add that and, and start over today. Anyway, what a difference 24 hours made. It is sunny outside. We did get a lot of rain. My area yesterday got over five inches of rain and some places a little bit north and a little bit west of us got up to nine inches of rain. So there was a lot of flooding and it is supposed to rain again tomorrow. So what we, what I was able to do and what my husband was able to do yesterday is the ceiling has been totally washed. And I will kind of point you, I did both over the sink as well as the main ceiling. They're all washed. My husband did most of the cabinets. Today we're going to do, I did wash the faucet, but those need to be scrubbed with, um, soap and water and a little bit more cleaning because there's a little bit of stain especially i'm gonna move you guys over here you guys can actually see the stain up above the stove and that's from the years of cooking with the smoke the grease um other things that have have gone up there so today's goal is to finish that we need to we need to do the stove the refrigerator get those ready to move out so we can wash behind them and then wash the main walls. That's going to be today's project. Tomorrow's project is going to be starting to tape everything. And when I say tape everything, I'm going to not only tape the walls, but I'm also going to start to trim around, or trim, I'm going to start to tape around the woodwork. Now, uh, the paper towel holder does need to come off and all of this stuff will eventually have to move. My husband does need to work on the windows in the kitchen and that's just because there has been paint and I'm going to kind of bring you guys over so you can, can see this and there's a lot of dust on here that needs to be cleaned before we can do anything. He's going to also finish washing the or mopping the floor. We're not going to do a great job on the floor. We're just going to do a basic mop. The reason being is you don't really need to wash and scrub the floor as if you're eating off of it. Plus, with the rain that they're expecting tomorrow, it, it's just going to be one of those, those things that will take time. Now, I am having, I did check over here this morning, and I don't know if you can see this, over here, I do have ants that have come back that are going, and I'm I've been spraying them, and I don't know why. There's they seem to be. I'm gonna move you guys over here. They seem to be attracted to the shelf right here, and they're going all the way across, but not coming down this side. So they're staying predominantly from here. I'm gonna move you guys back this way, and there are a bunch going there. Now, there is a hole at the very bottom that I gouged. I don't know why they're so attracted to that because when I redid the pantry, there is nothing opened in the pantry for them to have gotten into, meaning none of the boxes of stuff is opened. I'm going to once everything gets settled, I'm going to have to take everything out of the pantry, go through it, see what, what's on there, and see if, it, if something is attracting the ants to them. And I just saw that my dog, don't walk in here, Bob, because they got to wash the floor really fast. Pardon me, Shadow. My poor Pomeranian had a little accident in the kitchen, and she's getting to the point where she's old, deaf, and blind, so she doesn't go outside unless you really nudge her. And she pee-peed right by the door, which is easy to clean. 
So I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Um, things are really moving on quite nicely in the kitchen. Like I said, I should be ready to be painting the kitchen by the end of the week. Or at least have the primer on. It's going to take me a couple of days to get everything organized in the kitchen. Meaning putting the tape on the walls and stuff. And that should be done by today's Monday. Should be done by probably Wednesday, maybe even Thursday. And then Thursday... I should get ready to prime the, the ceiling. So if all goes well, like I said, we should be ready for the paint sometime early next week. And that should only take maybe a week to do. So the first week of October, everything should be done. Now I did get a notification last night that Bob's or my husband's iPhone is getting ready to ship. Mine is being delayed a little bit. And the reason being is when Apple came out with, with the iPhone 15 Pro series, it was able for a pre-order on, on Friday, which was last Friday. It sold out very, very fast. As a matter of fact, if you go on Apple's website and pre-order the 15 Pro series, and that's the Pro Max and the Pro Plus, they're not being shipped out now until the very end of October, very beginning of November. I was fortunate that I did not go through Apple. I went through my cellular carrier, and hopefully mine will be sh shipped out. It has an estimate shipping date of right of this coming Friday. So hopefully it'll ship either Friday, but it also goes through October 2nd. So hopefully I'll get mine either at the very end of this week or sometime next week. That's what I'm hoping for. It all depends on when it gets shipped. So I will be doing a gardening update at some point today. Maybe today, maybe... Well, it won't be tomorrow because, like I said, we're supposed to rain again tomorrow. Cooking-wise, I'm just going to do grilled lamb chops tonight. There are videos for that. There's nothing spectacular that we're going we're gonna to eat with, with the uh, lamb chops. We might do a suddenly salad. We have corn that is getting old that we need to do something with. And there are videos for that. And that's about it. it it's now just going to be getting everything painted, ready <coughs> to go. Like I did show you guys um, in the video that you guys watched on Monday, I have started to wash the door, and, and this is the door that I washed. I did, however, not do the entire door, so I didn't do the bottom of the door yet. I need to do that. And there are going to be some flaws to the door, and that's just the way that the door is, and given its age. Eventually, my husband and I have talked about replacing this door. That's not going to be done for a long time, because in order for that to be replaced, they would have to take out the entire frame and redo it. And that's, I need to do the deck first before they can even do the door. So that's going to be a project several years down the line. And we'll decide what we actually do want to do with the door. So I'm going to wrap this up for today. If anything new comes up, I'll come back and post. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit, leave me a comment. And I will see you on the next Kitchen Remodeling with Joel video. Okay, hi all. I'm back. I was upstairs thinking about something, and I figured I'd address something that if you have never painted a room or never did any painting it, but would like to, you might get overwhelmed with what do I need to do first. Well, I'm going to tell you, when it comes to painting, you always want to start from the top and work your way down. I've seen people 
that have started like with the trim, then they do the walls, and then they do the ceiling. I don't advise that because the ceiling can actually drip down. So always start when you're going to paint anything. If you're going to paint a room, always start from the top and work your way down instead of working your way down from going to the top. Now, if your ceiling is is beautiful and you don't need to paint the ceiling, then you can start working on the walls. I always say leave the, the trim as the very last because you don't want to get any of the wall paint or the ceiling paint on your trim and have beautiful trim that, that's already done. You don't want to risk ruining the painting that you did. So always start from the top and work your way down. Now, do you need to prime your walls and your ceiling? Chances are no, not unless you have a brand new house or you have a house, in my case, when they remodeled, they didn't prime anything. So you do need to put a primer if the if the drywall does not have a primer on it. Most houses nowadays, when you buy paint, it has the primer already in it. And we'll get into that once I do start to prime the ceiling. And it's a very, very quick way of, of painting the ceiling. And we'll get into that when we do that. Other things, you always want to make sure that you your appliances are nice and covered because you don't want to get paint on that. If you do get a drop of paint on an appliance or on a countertop, it's not the end of the world. You just need to make sure you have the right tools to get remove the paint. If you can catch it really quick, usually water and a, and a rag will take the paint right, right off if it's still in the wet form. Sometimes you need turpentine or paint or a paint thinner to get the paint off if it's dried. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that last. Now you might be asking how do you tape cabinets that have a little tiny roof over it? Well, I will show you when we get to that point. It's a little bit more tricky to do because you have to be very careful with the underneath part of the uh, faucet. And that's what they call a faucet up there versus this thing that is a faucet, but that's a faucet for a sink. These are our faucets for the kitchen. And most kitchens that I've been in, especially if they have cabinets that are raised, all will have a faucet. Now, not every home does have that. Some will hang directly from the ceiling down. It just depends on how your kitchen was designed. So, like I said, I'm going to wrap this up for today. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. You'll tune in again for the next remodel update. And if anything new comes up, I'll let you guys know, but today's going to be just a clean day. So, I'll see you on the next Cooking with Joel video.